back to another Ken's Outdoors. Just caught this little fish right here. Caught him on the Texas rig Senko watermelon. There's my Senko over there. He wanted to be a butthole and rip it off, but it'll be all right. Got plenty of them. Go ahead and get the release on this fish. And after I do that, I'm gonna be showing you the baits I found today when I went fishing. There's about four or five pound bass right there looking at me. But that's how it out here bite a Senko because he's really smart. She has to get the release on this fish. There goes that fish right there. But yeah, I'm going to show you the baits that I found when I was fishing. And I got to go in the house and get me another Senko because he tore this one up. The end of it split. I can save it. I can take a lighter and burn it and melt it back together. Let it set for about two days. It'll be as good as new. So yeah. So get back to you when I'm back in the house. I got to go get the baits that I found over here because I had left them over here today. So yeah. Uh, get back to you when I'm in the house and ready to show you the baits. Okay, I'm back in the house and now I'm gonna be showing you the baits that I found. Okay, the first bait that I found, this was all together. I'm gonna be showing you how I found it. Uh, was a Cinco. Um, don't exactly know what kind of Cinco it is. I don't think it's a Gary Yamamoto. I know for sure it ain't Gary Yamamoto. I don't think it is. But yeah, I found this Cinco and I believe it's in watermelon. Um, it's about identical to the Senkos I be fishing with, except this Senko is just a little bit darker, it looks like. But yeah, so I found this Seiko. It was rigged on about, I'd say that was about a four out hook. Wait a minute, I got a comparison. I'm saying three out, maybe four out. You about to see. I don't know whether you can see it there, but it was rigged on a three out, because I got a four out on my pole. A four out hook and this is rigged on a three out. I don't particularly like the rig Senkos on three out hooks. I usually always use four out hooks, but there's a little bit of rust on the hook here. Nothing all the way through, still usable. So I found the Seiko and it was all uh, weighted using this sinker right here. It's just a little bullet sinker. But yeah. Okay. No, that was the Senko I found. It was one of these two. But yeah. And then I found another worm. This in here is messed up beyond repair. I just found it and picked it up. Decided to show it to y'all. Um, just to see what they've been fishing with. Looks like a zoom trip worm. And some type of June bug it looks like. It had been in the water a really long time. Uh, I found it where the water had dried up. It was in a stump. And if you can see the hook's tips broke off there. There's really nothing here I can use. Probably throw it all away. But there goes a snap. It's pretty good. It's not in too bad a shape. You can still use that. Had to test it a few times, make sure. Oh, I found two corks. Always can use these when fishing with live bait. I found this. I found this hung in a tree. And I'm saving the best for last, which I don't know if you'd call it the best. But I found this. Um, oh, it's a little bullet waker waiter. And a uh, egg weight, and I found a, a, a bass hook attached to it. That's probably losing, using live bait. It's a blue hook. This is definitely a two out, maybe one out. I believe it's a one out hook. I found that, and the best for last, I found this. Uh, looks like white and a zebra colored rooster tail. Um, I know it's a rooster tail. Because it says it right there. I found this on the bank. Someone had must have dropped it. It says rooster tail. It's like in a zebra color. But that's all I found. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good day. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you go check that out now. But I'm about to go back outside and do some more fishing. And hopefully I get some fish to get on camera. So get back to you when I get a fish. Okay, uh, I just caught this brim here on a jig. I've been bass fishing for about 30 minutes, I'd say. Bass seem don't want to be biting, so I caught this pretty good size. Brim on a jig, though. Probably going to end the video here. Might try to get another one on the jig for y'all. I'll get one more fish, or try to get one more fish. And then I'm going to end the video. Go ahead and get the release on this guy.
Okay, I'm gonna get one more fish and probably end the video. If I can get another fish, the fishing's really hard. You're not really wanting to buy it, but I'm gonna try to get another fish, so get back to you when I get that fish. Guys, I just caught a complete monster off the Senko. It is a pig, boys. A pig. Look at that. That's a solid five, maybe four pound fish. It's a complete pig, boys. That there's a hog, boys. Uh, let me go show him to my daddy, then I'm going to get the release on him. It's a pure hog. be releasing this sweet bass right there. That's a nice bass, boys. She ain't nothing but about four and a half. Still a nice fish, though. Getting down here where I can release her. Appreciate you letting me catch you, Mama. Oh, it's a nice fish there. That's a really good last fish on the day. Let me get back over these fence and show you what I caught her on. Okay, I fixed the worm back on the hook. This here is the Strike King um, Cinco. It's an uh, watermelon. Just fishing it, Texas rigged, weightless. Um, just throwing it down this edge right here and bringing it back to me. I hung up with her right about right there. I seen her pick it up and I waited to set the hook. Just really nice fish. She wasn't as big as I thought she was. She wasn't. She was maybe about four and a half, five pounds, something like that. Not a, not a really monster fish. Really nice fish. Uh, I put her in here. I caught her out of one of my local ponds, and I put her in my pond. But yeah, I got about five or six. I meant not five or six, about four or five in here, about like that right there. And I got one in here, seven, eight pound. In fact, there it goes right there. No whether y'all can see that or not, but it's sitting there. It's like right there. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of that vi the video. Um, biggest shout out to Jeff O2. His channel got hacked. All his videos got deleted. He just commented on one of my videos. Sad. I'm sad to hear that. I really enjoyed watching his videos. He'll probably get his channel started back up though, and it would really help if you'd go subscribe to him. And that's about it. But until next, and comment down below what kind of fishing y'all want me to do tomorrow, because I'm going to do a fishing video. The first comment on cat, I, I'm going to do catfish and panfish fishing or bass fishing. Comment down below the first two, the first comment will win. That'll mean that, that, that there, whoever comments first, that's what kind of fish I fish for. But until next time, hope you have good fishing.